This training video is to show you how to void and unvoid citations and tracks. Check with your agency's policies and procedures prior to following the instructions in this video. Your agency's policies and or procedures may differ from this training video. If you have completed a citation and it has an assigned citation number and you have decided not to issue it to the violator, it is recommended that you void the citation. Officers can void a citation and the form will be moved to a voided status. There are several different ways to void a citation. If the citation is open, regardless if the form is in edit mode or not, you may select the Actions tab at the top of the screen and select Void. A window will appear asking if you wish to void this form, yes or no. Select Yes. A window will open requesting a void reason. Please complete this box as it will populate the void reason on the court copy as well as maintain the reason electronically for auditing purposes. Once you have completed this box, click OK. You will notice that this citation is now in voided status, shown here as well as at the top of the screen. Another method to void a citation is from the Forms Manager page. Highlight the citation you wish to void by clicking on it once, then right click and click Void. Again, a window will appear requesting a void reason. Please complete this box as it will populate the void reason on the court copy as well as maintain the reason electronically for auditing purposes. After you complete the box for a void reason and you click OK, you will notice on the Forms Manager page the status now shows voided. Another method to void a citation is also from the Forms Manager page. Highlight the citation you wish to void by clicking on it once, click on the Tools tab, and select Void. Supervisors can accept a voided citation and the form will move to an accepted void status. Supervisors can do this through the Forms Manager page by highlighting the citation and clicking on the Accept button which is located under the Home tab. You will notice on the Forms Manager page under the Status it is listed as Accepted Void. Supervisors can also accept a voided citation once the citation is, in, is opened by clicking on the Accept button. When they click on this button, you will also notice that this voided citation will change to Accepted Void status, which will be located here on the tab as well as on the top of the page. Records can print the voided citation and mail it to DHSMV and push the Submitted to DHSMV as Voided button to move the form to a Submitted as Voided status. This can be done with the citation open by clicking on the Actions tab and clicking on the Submitted to DHSMV as Voided button. Or from the Forms Manager page by clicking on the Tools tab and clicking on the Submitted to DHSMV as Voided button. You will notice that the status of the form is now Submitted as Voided. The court copy will have the void reason, who voided it, who accepted the void, and when these actions occurred. Here is what the report looks like. If a citation was voided in error, supervisors can press the unvoid to place the citation back in open status. A window will appear asking if you wish to void this form, click yes. The void reason box will appear, click OK. The form changed from accepted void back to voided status. Click the Unvoid button again, 
It will ask if you wish to unvoid this form. Click yes and this form will now change back to open status. And you will notice this form is now in open status. This concludes the training video on how to void and unvoid citations in tracks.